Okay, so now we're going to talk about some results from this bond of square. So what can we say? The filled in the filled in squares the filled in squares Tell us what genotypes. Tell us what genotypes. These are all. So all these letters. These are the genotypes. So it's genetic makeups right there. Okay. Tell us what genotypes are possible. Tell us what genotypes are possible for the offspring. What genotypes are possible for the offspring of these of these two of these two parents of these two parents with regards with regards to the trait to the trait of seed shape seed shape round or wrinkled right that's the characteristic we're talking about comma as well as as well as probabilities as well as probabilities associated as well as probabilities associated associated with having with having as well as the probabilities associated with having a particular a particular offspring type offspring type period Next little ditty. For example, for example, comma. If the question, for example, comma, if the question. If the question asked what if the question asked what the probability what the probability of those what the probability of those two of those two pea plants of those two pea plants having having a wrinkled having a 
having a wrinkled offspring was wrinkled offspring was comma we would say we would say it was 25% since 25% since one of four it's actually right there one of one two three four gives us 25% a quarter is 25% squares squares have a have a genotype these are all genotypes have a genotype that produces that produces wrinkled seeds that produces wrinkled seeds, period, period. Okay, next, if the question, if the question asked, if the question asked for if the question asked for the chance if the question asked for the chance of having for the chance of having a pure offspring pure offspring a pure offspring comma it would be it would be okay anything pure is going to be when the letters are the same case same same yep same different nope same different nope same same two out of four is what percent 50 yoth. It would be 50%. Since, since two of the four, since two of the four squares, since two of the four squares have a genotype since two of the four squares have a genotype that are pure and I'll just put brackets with the R again we had an uppercase R uppercase R or a lowercase r and a lowercase r period okay next part very very often comma genetics genetics questions very often genetics questions ask for ask for the phenotype 
phenotype ratio. Remember, phenotype is what it looks. Pheno, physical, what it looks like. Round, wrinkled, tall, short, green, yellow, blue, brown. Those are all phenotypes. This would simply be, this would simply be This would simply be in our example seventy five percent round twenty five percent wrinkled. How do we get there? Round is dominant over wrinkled, right? It has both factors for round. Easy. So it's going to be round. I always like to write the phenotypes in here. Then I have the genotype in letters and the phenotype in whatever I write in. Uppercase R, lowercase R. Uppercase R is dominant. In this case, it's round again. I think it's a good idea to write uh, the phenotypes in the boxes as well. This is exactly the same, so this is round also. And these both have the recessive alleles. This, this one's going to be wrinkled. So if they asked you what percentage of the offspring would be wrinkled, 25, 1 in 4. So I think that's a good idea to do. Also often asked also often asked for is the is the genotype genotype ratio the genotype ratio But well, we have that right here. That one, that one, that one, and that one. All the letters. So we just have to look at our Punnett square and answer the question. Easy. This would be this would be what are we going to have? 25% upper, upper, that's right here, and we have two of these, so two out of four is going to be 50%, we only have one of these, one in four is 25% again, so 25% upper, upper, to 50 percent upper lower to 25 percent lowercase lowercase okay now that last part here other common other common questions Other common questions ask if a certain other common questions ask if a certain offspring if a certain offspring type 
if a certain offspring type is possible. If a certain offspring type is possible for for a pair of parents. Certain offspring type is possible for a certain parents. Uh, period. Simply, simply construct simply construct the Punnett square simply construct the Punnett square construct the Punnett square based on based on the given Punnett square based on the given information based on the given information comma and see and see if the offspring and see if the offspring type and see if the offspring type they're asking about they're asking about asking about is in is in the completed is in the completed square is in the completed square okay I'll leave it at that copy these notes down and then I'll start assigning a few questions okay